Okay, um, Peter's just asked about any encouraging research. Um, so, people I know with Parkinson's, you know, well, well, researchers feel uh, certainly that there has been a lot of um, really great advancements in uh, Parkinson's. Uh, people with Parkinson's feel that research, of course, is is uh, very, very slow, and I don't blame you for uh, feeling that way. Um, just so you know, um, you can some of you can see me, um, uh, so you can already see that I have a pretty old and wrinkly face. One of my claims to fame, uh, shall I say, is that I actually predate levodopa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I may not be quite an antique, but I'm getting there. Um, when I was a, a student nurse in my young nursing days, early nursing days, we didn't have any medication to offer people with Parkinson's. So, people with Parkinson's became very stiff, very slow, very, very, very rigid, very, very quickly. And I don't know whether you're, most of you will be sitting on chairs or sitting down at tables, but if you can imagine the fact that whatever you're sitting on or next to is a very rigid article, that's as rigid as people with Parkinson's were back in the day. So it took five nurses to transfer people with Parkinson's from a, from a complete lying position into a, a chair, we couldn't sit them up in the chair. They had to lie in the chair as well because, again, they didn't bend anywhere. Um, we couldn't even put them on the toilet, and I'm sorry to be gross, but I think it's important to understand uh, that we really have come a long way when it comes to research because in the um, late 1960s and very early 1970s was when levodopa was made available for people living with Parkinson's. That was approximately 45 years ago. It is still considered by the specialists, researchers, clinical specialists, neurologists, and even general practitioners uh, all over the world today to have been um, a miracle. And it doesn't get any better than levodopa. When I mean by that is that it actually replaces the chemical that you don't have enough of in your brain. As a result, it's basically like insulin is to a diabetic. The pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin. The good news is we can give people with diabetes insulin to replace what they don't have. It's the same as Parkinson's. We have dopamine to give you, and we can give you that in various amounts, various frequencies, and it replaces the chemical that you uh, don't have enough of in your brains. So in the last 45 years, have there been more things offered? Absolutely. There are more medications, and I think it was Craig that said that he's taking, I believe he said, amantadine, and I think maybe something else as well, um, along with his levodopa. All the other medications that are currently available today um, basically are helpers. They help levodopa to be the best it can be. Because while we're giving people with Parkinson's levodopa, the bottom line is that there are still enzymes and combatants out there that are trying to deplete the level of dopamine in your brain. So you're not always getting the full complement of the levodopa that you're taking. But there are other chemicals, and I can send you um, an article or, or a, a brochure on medications available for people with Parkinson's, and I can talk to you about what their jobs are. They all have different jobs. They all work in different areas of the brain, but their job is to help the levodopa to be the best it can be. So there are other things available. One of the latest and, and newest uh, medications, it's one of the dopamine agonists. Many of you will have heard of Mirapex and Re uh, Requip. Those are called um, uh, dopamine agonists, and basically 
Uh, they uh, are there to support the levodopa to be, again, the best it can be. There is now a patch um, available. It's called Nupro, and it's another form of agonist. And what it is, it's a patch that you uh, put on di different aspects of your body that, you know, there, there's a good description that comes with it to tell you how to rotate it um, into various areas of your body. Um, so that you're not always putting it in the same place every day. And uh, it's an agonist, so again, the, the idea of the patch is it's not something that you swallow, but it's just available incrementally so, you know, throughout your system throughout the day. So it's like a controlled release you form know, of a dopamine that. agonist. It's in Canada. Yes, it's pat yeah, the, Charles, it is available in Canada. Hey. It is, absolutely. I can tell you that for sure. There's a new drug that has beads in it that, that allows for longer term absorption of Right. But it's not available in Canada. Okay. We haven't, well, even tried, we haven't applied for it yet. Right. But Nupro certainly is available in Canada. And uh, Charles, just like the others, uh, Peter's going to provide you all with my contact information. I'd be happy to send that information to you so you have that. 